한류 유행의 도무지 끝이 보이지 않고 있습니다. 영국 현지에서도 한류 바람이 크게 불어 이 현상에 주목한 이들이 있었는데요. 바로 영국 유력 방송사의 다큐멘터리 제작진이었습니다. 그들은 한국의 소프트 파워 저력을 직접 알아본다는 취지로 한국 특집 다큐를 기획하기 시작했는데요. 원활한 제작을 위해 처음 한국에 방문했을 때 그들은 큰 충격에 빠졌었다고 합니다. 이후 세상에 어떻게 이런 나라가 존재할 수 있나? 한류가 성공할 수밖에 없는 이유가 있다 등의 소감을 전했는데요. 그들이 한국에서 무슨 일을 경험했던 것인지 한번 자세히 알아보겠습니다. 알렉산더 암스트롱은 영국의 유명 영화배우이자 방송인으로 영국에서 가장 많은 호감을 받는 스타 중한 사람입니다. 그런 그는 영국의 유명 방송사인 채널5에서 제작하는 여행 다큐멘터리의 진행자를 맡고 있는데요. 해당 프로그램은 그가 전 세계를 여행하면서 그 지역의 문화와 음식 등을 몸소 체험한 뒤 소개하는 방식을 취하고 있습니다. 최근에는 알렉산더 암스트롱과 함께하는 대한민국이라는 제목의 오리지널 다큐멘터리를 3부작으로 제작하여 송출했었습니다. 알렉산더 암스트롱과 제작진은 한국의 서울, 부산, 제주를 돌며 현장을 직접 취재했는데요. 한국을 경험하고 난뒤 암스트롱은 시청자들을 향해 이렇게 말했습니다. 당신은 중국 동부와 일본 사이의 땅을 한 번도 경험해 본 적이 없을지 모르지만 나는 당신이 그곳 한국의 문화적 영향에서 벗어나지 않았다고 생각한다. 우리 모두는 한류라고 하는 코리안 웨이브 열풍에 빠져 있다. South Korea, a country that has captured the world's imagination. It's extraordinary. I love it. It's just staggering. The mighty river of Seoul. I mean, look at it. I'll be going deeper. Uncovering more about its incredible culture and history. Food that fights back. <웃음> Gangnam style. From its people. 감사합니다. Yeah, wow. To modern technology. No, this is the actual heartbeat of Korea. 암스트롱과 제작진이 한국의 온 목적은 포르투갈과 같은 크기의 영국보다 적은 인구를 가진 이 놀라운 나라를 움직이는 역동성의 원인을 찾는 것이었습니다. 한국을 경험하며 문화 충격에 빠진 그는 또 이렇게 말했습니다. 한국은 역경에 직면하고 회복하는 데 익숙한 나라입니다. 1950년에서 1953년 사이에 한국전쟁은 한반도의 대부분의 주요 도시를 파괴하고 300만 명 이상의 사망자를 냈습니다. 1950년대에 한국은 세계에서 가장 가난한 나라 중 하나였습니다. 지금은 열 손가락 안에 드는 큰 경제대국이자 기술의 선두주자입니다. 이는 성공 사례이지만 우리는 여전히 한국을 절반의 국가로 생각합니다. 한국 문화의 특징은 기본적으로 그을린 땅이라는 점입니다. 그들은 거의 모든 것을 태워버렸습니다. 어떤 것도 뿌리를 내리도록 허용되지 않았습니다. 그래서 우리가 지금 목격하고 있는 것은 일종의 물리적 한류, 즉 마침내 표현을 찾을 수 있게 된 한국 문화의 위대한 출현입니다. 그들은 스스로에 대한 이 미친 믿음을 중심으로 뭉쳤습니다. 그리고 그것은 미친 믿음이 아니라 확실하게 미친 듯이 강렬합니다. 이어 그는 이런 정신은 아시아 그 어느 국가에서도 찾아볼 수 없었던 것이라고 덧붙였는데요. 대륙이라는 중국에서도 과거 문화 강국으로 명성을 떨쳤던 일본에서도 말이죠. 암스트롱은 한국을 여행하면서 큰 감명을 받은 듯 보였습니다. 한국에서 무엇을 체험하고 돌아갔던 것인지 다큐멘터리 영상으로 확인하겠습니다. When people talk about Hallyu, this great Korean wave, well surely the crest of that wave has to be K-pop. And if we were tempted to think that it maybe it was a bit tacky and slightly throwaway, when Psy sang about Gangnam style, we were forced to reappraise it. K-pop is now a massive phenomenon. So one of the things I've been really looking forward to doing is hurling myself into the world of K-pop. So I'm going to go and talk to one of the world's biggest girl bands, Stacey. Yeah. Yay! Yay! They are. Yay! Yeah. Wow! Thanks. This yeah. is great. I yeah. love it. So what are you going to do? We're going to rehearse our latest song, Run To You. Yeah. After winning multiple TV music show awards, Stacey are hotly tipped to be the next global megastars. What's a nice easy bit? A little bit, a little bit. Show me. I'm not sure I'd ever actually make it as a K-pop star. I'd fall at the first hurdle. Dancing. It's really, it's really easy. Just move your, move your shoulders like this. Like, so I run to you. A little bit, little bit, change. change. A little bit, little bit. Actually, I, I take that back. 
Ugly. I'm mesmerizing. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, I'm as good as that. Wow. My K-pop career is is just beginning. So basically, do you audition for a K-pop career? Yeah, I had lots of auditions. There are talent scouts, I guess. Yeah, that's yep, right. Well, you're good, you're good. Yeah. But success is never of the overnight variety in K-pop. And how long was Stacy in the making? Um, I became a K-pop trainee when I was... 13 and I debuted at 20. Sure. Uh, two years. Two years? Yes. You're a quick learner. Yes. Three years. Three years. It's an incredible achievement to make it as a K-pop star, beating millions of other hopefuls. Yet the band seemed to be taking it in their stride. If you're interested in K-pop culture and if you want to be K-pop artist... So you think I should, I should have a crack at K-pop? Yeah. Really? Yeah, of course. <laughs> that is the most flattering thing I have ever been told. Tell me more. I'm going to be making my very own K-pop record, complete with artwork. Now, I'm heading for the epicentre of the whole K-pop industry, as immortalised by Psy, it's Gangnam. Well, these are the hands of Psy. Just in case you're in any doubt, it even says, look, Gangnam style. Here we are. There's the watch of Psy, the forefinger of Psy. You get the idea. It's a whole monument to Gangnam Style, the song that burst onto the cultural scene, and the explosion happened. Suddenly the world had heard of Gangnam, this region of Seoul. And this is it. This is where I throw myself onto the altar of K-pop. I'm even getting the opportunity to record a song, which I'm hoping will give me an insight into just what it takes to make it big. I've spent the last day or so learning the words ish to one of girl band Stacy's smash hits. You can do it in bits. Yeah. Lovely. One of the hottest producers in town is Hans Chu, whose speciality is working with K-pop bands to give them that super fresh sound. Told you not to gan on guide. Go down up beyond on the book, aye. Get some by mail and got some island back, back on the island and the lee. Oh no, oh. Yeah, 너무 잘 yeah. 부르신 것 같아. 근데 이게 어느 나라, 어, 어, 우리말 가사인가요? 이게? 한, 한국말 가사인가요? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what language it is. Then a quick photo shoot for the cover artwork, but I don't know if the world's ready for my sourdough in morning look. And my K-pop career comes to a juddering halt, as so many do in the karaoke bar, or noribang in Korean. <laughs> 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 terrific, man. Luckily, what I lack in star quality, I make up for in friends. Clearly what I've made here in Seoul. Friends! The people of this beautiful, chaotic, fascinating city have made me so welcome. <laughs> Mukbang, which means eating broadcast. Welcome to one of the most searched for Korean online trends. I've come to meet one of Korea's best known YouTubers in the flesh. Her name is Hebab. Hello. Hello. She's been a mukbang star for the past two years. Today, I'll eat this. Oh. Habib holds the slightly queasy Korean record for eating 20 bowls of noodles in 30 minutes. So how did this start? Mm. You could do much better indeed. Habib is now one of the most popular mukbang stars in the world with over 1.2 million followers. Shall I open these? Yeah. Yes. Okay, in they go. SpongeBob. <laughs> this can't be healthy. Oh, good. They've doubled in size. Wow, look at that. I'm more than ready. In Korea, it's rude to bite noodles. Mm. Very good. 
You think it's hilarious, my eating? Like a child. Like a child. No, not hilarious, just rude. Noodles must be slurped with as much vigour as possible. Slurping is also said to lead to a longer life. The way you eat that noodle is just incredible. Like a Dyson. You, you know Dyson. Like a Dyson. <laughs> An adult human requires about 2,000 calories a day. But a typical mukbanger gets through an unhealthy 4,000 in one sitting. I think I've had enough. Eh? I know. It's pathetic. <laughs> How long do you think it's going to take you to eat all of that lot? Uh, three, three minutes. Three minutes? Yeah. OK, you're on. Mm. Mm. Millions of people around the world that would that would pay good money to be sitting where I'm sitting right now. It's like sharing a stage with the Rolling Stones. Ah, noodle solo. Don't try this at home, kids. Oh, Let's leave it to the finished. professionals. Is that the right word? That was actually two minutes forty, so oh. very impressive.